Okay, welcome back. So today we're gonna make a Punjabi samosas, so Indian samosas. So for making a Punjabi samosa, you need to have you take one cup of all-purpose flour, and then you need to add some carrot seed. And you're gonna add some salt and mix this well. And then you need to add a two tablespoon of ghee. So for a this for samosa to make it crispy, make them crispy, you need to add a ghee. In order to do that and in case if you do not have ghee you can use oil vegetable oil but I would always prefer ghee for samosa so you mix them well and uh, to make a dough you need to make a tight dough for samosas and use a cold water when you make a dough but that make sure that you make a tight dough for samosa so use a little bit of uh, cold water Okay, so your dough needs to be, as I said, it needs to be very tight dough. And make sure you need to keep this dough for a rest at least uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, or I would say the maximum you can do it. I'm going to keep it for 25 minutes. Make this dough. Okay. So our dough is ready, so we're gonna wait for another 25 minutes. So to make an inside stuffing for samosas, you need to have green chili. And if you don't like spicy, so you can avoid that. You cut them, chop them. Fine chop. Huh? Okay, and then you take a uh, ginger, you need a ginger too, and cut them really in a fine paste, oh, sorry, not fine paste, fine chopping, you know, very tiny. So you go for ginger. So we're going to toss a uh, one tablespoon of a coriander seed and a one tablespoon of a fennel seed and a half tablespoon of cumin seed so we're gonna put that in a pan and nicely toast them don't overcook but just to toast them until you start getting a smell you know the aroma of this coriander seed coriander seed and uh, fennel seed and cumin so once nicely toast you're gonna put that in and uh, just crush them nicely
so for inside filling you need to have a you need to need a two big boiled potatoes and uh, as we did though this is what you do the ginger and uh, green chili and then you have this uh, whole spice for uh, coriander fennel and cumin seeds and then you need uh, some some of this green peas and we're gonna use a uh, turmeric salt and a red chili so we're gonna go ahead and make our make our inside a filling for samosas okay so we take the pan and I'm gonna put some key and if you as I say, if you don't have a key you can use a uh, oil if you want Ginger and chili. Chili powder and uh, some turmeric. Nice and soft down. And now we're gonna add potatoes. Just mix them well. And you can mess some of the potatoes because I'm um, not all of them, but you can. Have, I want to use a fork to do that. Just cut it down. So we're gonna add some salt as per our taste. I'm gonna add some green peas. If you want, if you, if you want, you can also mash the whole potato. But uh, I want to keep uh, some. Uh, I don't want to mash all the potatoes. I just want to keep some of the uh, cubes. So it tastes good. And if you want to add, you can also add uh, raisins and uh, cashews. It's all up to you. If you want to have more uh, kind of a fruity stuff in it, you can do that. But I'm just gonna make a uh, simple, just like Punjabi. But I'm not adding any cashews and raisins in this. I'm just going to use this stuff. Now I'm going to add the masala we made. The one over here. For coriander seed, fennel, and uh, cumin seed. So you just make them well. Oh, the aroma, the smell of this thing is so good, so nice.
Okay, it's done. So we're gonna keep it aside to cool down. And once it's cooled down, then we're gonna start making samosas. Now it's time to make samosa. Okay, this is how you're gonna make a samosas. So you take this, take a little water, put on the side a little bit. And make like a corn, like this. And we're gonna take some stuffing in it you're gonna go a little more water on the side and you will fold just like on the back a little, little, little fold and then you go this way and nicely press those sides and make a little pad over here so your samosa can stand doesn't have to roll around you know okay that's how you make your samosa I'll make the another one and I'll show you take this then on the side, pull it with water, then make up a corn, corn type. And you take the stuffing, you put in stuffing. The same thing, then you're gonna put the water around. And give a little, give a little fold from the side. And that's how you go. That's how you make all your samosas. So our samosas are ready to fry, you see over here. So we're gonna fry them in a, at the medium low heat, making sure that oil is heated up. It's not that size cold oil that you're gonna fry them, but a medium uh, low heat would be perfect to make them crispy. So at this stage you're going to take this samosa out.
So finally our samosas are ready and they are hot. Let me put plates, put on a plate. We're gonna serve that with with this sweet sauce, and uh, you can get the recipe of a sweet, this sweet sauce. Sauce. I'm sorry, I can't speak today. So you can get a recipe for this sweet sauce uh, uh, in my in a description, and I we also have here a mint sauce. So the, you can get the recipe for both of the sauce in a in a description box. I'll leave I'll, I will leave the link at links over there. So for this recipes, so this is our samosa and this is a, a mint sauce and this is a sip sauce with the samosa.